Alright FLW fans, day one of practice here at the Forestwood Cup on Lake Washita. Catching up with Brad Knight. He's just finishing up a very, very, very long day on the water. Brad, you told me you didn't pre-practice, but you got out here before the crack of dawn, right? Yeah, we tried to get a little bit of a jump on everyone. We were uh, on the water probably a little after three this morning and uh, putting a lot of time in on those Lawrence electronics, doing a lot of idling around. Okay. When, you know, the weather's a little more conducive to being able to sit out in that stuff. But, it, uh, you know, there's a lot of brush piles and that, that's kind of the deal everybody's looking for out offshore. So we were able to idle out and get a couple of hours in extra before the sun came up. Okay. Now, did you did you fish much today or did just mostly looking? Uh, we did probably about 50-50. You know, we bounced around, did a lot of different things, uh, shallow, you know, deeper stuff, looked at some of the grass, some of the, the steeper banks. You know, we, we just really kind of bounced around and get a little bit of a taste of, okay. of what all was going on. That way we could kind of look at what we're going to do for the rest of practice and you know, how that's going to project. Okay, now I've seen you on YouTube videos chucking a swim bait around catching giants, and we know that a swim bait has worked here in the past, so I, I got to know, are you chucking a swim bait around a little bit out there? I threw it some today. You know, it wasn't really that successful, but uh, I, I think that this lake and the right conditions could play to where, you know, you may not get a lot of bites, but you could get the right ones that could sure. really really carry you a long way in this deal. Well, it sounds like hearing some of the reports, I mean, five good bites a day is going to take you a long way. Sure. A couple good bites a day might take you a long way. Right. Uh, what's been your impression in that regard, uh, the quality of the fish that we might see or the weights we might see? Well, I think that, you know, we're going to see some pretty decent bags brought in. Uh, uh, it's going to be pretty top heavy, I would think. You know, down mm -hmm. the line, it's going to fall pretty good. It's August in the south, you know, end of August, so the water's really, really hot. Had a lot of pressure put on them, you know, fish are starting to suspend pretty big, okay. you know, around the bait and stuff. So, you know, it's going to make, uh, you know, pretty much a grind out there. It's not going to be really, really easy, you know, like you see other times of the year. But, you know, the weights could still be okay where a guy, instead of catching maybe 25 or 30 bass in a day, may just get six or seven bites sure. and still have, you know, pretty good weight. Is this the kind of tournament where the winner is going to have it figured out in practice? Or do you think this is going to be a deal where a guy's just going to kind of figure it out as he goes once the tournament gets going? You know, that's. I, I would say that you're going to have a, the guy that wins is going to have a, a pretty good idea, you know, on mm -hmm. what's happening. You know, I don't think this is going to be one of those deals where you just kind of stumble on, you know, the winning, the winning bag as the tournament okay. goes on. I, I could be wrong about that, but but I would be surprised if that was to happen. All right. Now you're from East Tennessee, a lot of clear, rocky lakes over there. Are there things that you see here on Washita that remind you of home that maybe make you feel a little comfortable out there, or is it completely different? Yeah, it. Uh, you know, the deep clear lakes, we don't really fish a whole lot this time of the year, so I don't have a lot of experience, you know, in the fall there. We're okay. usually on the Tennessee River places that has the grass and that stuff, but this lake has grass and that's starting to come on, so, you know, that, that kind of plays into what we, we're used to seeing, but as far as, like, right. the deep clear stuff, uh, you know, it's it's pretty foreign to me as far as, you know, in August, that kind of deal. Now, you mentioned the grass. I know there's brush piles out mm -hmm. there. There's timber out there. There's a lot of variety. Have you gotten a chance to sample all of that yet, or are you still checking things off your list? Yeah, we, we pretty much sampled a lot of that stuff. We spent some time in the timber and the grass, you know, the deep rocky stuff. Uh, just wanted to kind of see how I wanted to, uh, you know, attack the next two days of practice. You know, okay. Kind of see. Well, sounds good. Well, Brad and I, he made it over here from East Tennessee to Lake Washita. He's going to see if he can get it done. I have my fingers crossed that there's going to be a swim bait pattern. I don't know why. That I makes just, two of us. I think that's crossed. going to happen. I think we're going to see some <laughs> giants get caught that way. Uh, stay tuned to flwfishing.com. you see how Brad finishes up here.